okay so now let's go ahead and add rotation to our movement to complete the whole player movement all right first of all right here after the movement speed we will create another public float by the name of rotation speed this is going to be equals to 5 actually 12 by default then we can scroll down and create another method which will be by the name of handle rotation then in the handle rotation we will create a vector 3 by the name of target direction this will be equals to vector 3 dot 0 then create another uh, actually the target direction vector 3 will be equals to then uh, camera object dot forward and we're gonna multiply that by the input manager dot vertical uh, input all right then target direction will be equals to target direction and then plus camera game object dot right you can just copy that line from up there and paste it right here that's it okay then we need to normalize this so target direction dot normalize after this target direction dot y will be equals to zero then quaternion target rotation will be equals to quaternion dot look rotation and right here pass the target direction then we will create another quaternion by the name of player rotation this will be equals to quaternion dot slurp transform dot rotation then pass the target rotation then the rotation speed then multiply that by time dot delta time okay after this the transform dot position will be equals to the player rotation now let me explain what we did right here first of all we created or you can say we declare a vector 3 by the name of target direction and we set it to vector 3.0 which will make its x y z x is 0 okay then what we did right here we first of all calculates the target direction based on input received from the input manager then we multiply the camera forward vector by the vertical input to get the forward direction right then we add the camera dot right vector and we multiply it by the horizontal input to get star direction then right here we normalize the target direction to ensure constant magnitude regardless of direction then right here we make the target direction dot y to zero and the reason we did this is to prevent tilting or rotating vertically all right then then right here what we did right here in the first line we first of all calculates the target rotation using quaternion dot look rotation to which we provide our target direction and what this do is it aligns the forward vector of the object with the specified target direction then right here on the second line we use quaternion dot slurp to interpolate smoothly between the current rotation which is transform dot rotation and the target rotation 
and we control this by the rotation speed okay we control this interpolation factor by the rotation speed and then we multiply it by time dot delta time right here this time dot delta time ensure smooth rotation over time then at the end we set the transform dot position or you can say we set the player transform rotation to the calculated player rotation and this effectively rotate the player towards the target rotation all right now after this what we're going to do is as you know that this handle movement and handle rotation is not a public methods and we will not be making them a public methods because right here we will create a main public method which will be by the name of handle all movement and in here we're gonna call the handle movement method and then the handle rotation method all right once you do this then get back to the input manager script and right here we need to call this method as well so what we're gonna do first of all is make this a private method all right and then create a public main method in which we will be calling all of the input manager methods okay name this as handle all inputs all right then in here let's call this handle movement input that's it okay once you do this now we need to call this handle all inputs and handle all movement methods somewhere for that we will be creating a separate script all right so let's get back to unity it is showing this line on player movement 53 line but we're gonna fix that first of all right here let's create a c-sharp script by the name of player manager all right let's open this up in visual studio code then first of all on line 53 let's solve this error and in order to solve it right here instead of transform dot position you need to type transform dot rotation all right now on the player manager script what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this start and update method and at the top we need a reference to the input manager script and then to the player movement script all right let's name this as player movement as well then we will add a wake method in which input manager will be equals to get component input manager then player movement will be equals to Get component player movement right once we have this then in the update method we're gonna call the input manager dot handle all inputs and then player movement dot handle all movement that's it if we save the script and get back right here click on player now right here provide the camera transform and guys make sure that your camera is right behind the player like this okay as you can see right here the camera is right there so make sure that it is in the same position as this then we have the rigid body capsule collider everything added we just have to open up the rigid body then the constraints and right here we, we need to freeze the rotation because we are managing the rotation using our player movement script okay then also make sure that you drag and drop the player manager script to there and that's it now we can just simply start the game 
and when the game is start let's press the w key as you can see the player is moving forward if we press the s key as you can see the player rotates and move in the backward direction and if we press a the player moves to the left and d the player moves to the right and now as you can see the player can move around okay and if you check this movement using your controller it will work perfectly fine as well let me connect my controller okay as you can see it shows joystick connected controller xbox okay so let me pick it up here it is now as you can see i can move using the controller as well okay you can see the player is moving using the controller as well so it means the movement and the rotation is working perfectly fine but if you notice if we move to the left side as you can see the player moves and rotates to that side but then the player looks in the forward direction the same for the left and for the backward okay we actually don't want that so we will be removing this thing in the future videos but for now the movement and rotation works so let's end this video right here